What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, you read my title correctly. I found AR500 plates at Walmart. I cannot believe that Walmart sells AR500. But I was at the store the other day, happened to be going down the target aisle where the bullets are and the targets and bow and arrow stuff and all that crap. And lo and behold, AR500 plates. Look at this. It's a 12 inch gong. 3 8 inch it was 32 bucks you you cannot find a plate like that for 32 bucks I mean I don't know I was blown away so I figured I'd do a video we're gonna shoot all these guns at it um, we're gonna see how durable it is I just want to let you know there are three versions of plates at Walmart that I found you got this large one right here this is the 12 inch you got this small one it's a four inch and then they have one other one that I did not pick up and I think that it is either a six or eight inch but like I said the big one is thirty two dollars this little one was twelve let's go hang this thing and see how good it is all right guys I got it hung I know a lot of you are looking at this and saying what the hell what the hell man this should be hung by some chains some steel chains I, you know I didn't, I didn't pick any up before I made this video so this should hold up just for the video's purpose. I'm gonna get some steel chains, obviously, to, to make it permanent. But for my purposes, these little tie straps are gonna work. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's go back down there and get the guns and start shooting. Okay, we're gonna start off like everybody else would with a 22 long rifle. You may be asking yourself if you're not familiar with my channel. This is my homemade 22 long rifle gun. Here's the video if you wanna check it out. Alright, let's see what it does. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Okay guys, like always, we're going to start at the bottom with some 22 long rifle. I've got my son's little Davy Cricket. There's an actual video here if any of you have kids. It's a great little gun for kids. It's the only 22 long rifle I actually own at the moment. So we're going to use it. Alright, let's see how this target holds up against 22 long rifle. Top left there. Well, it seems to have held up with that 22, which I mean, any steel target would do. So we knew that was going to happen. All right. Now, just for fun, I brought my double barrel 410. I know it's not going to do anything. I don't even have slug rounds. I just have these little bird shot rounds. But we're going to shoot them just for the heck of it. It's always fun just to shoot guns anyway. So I'm going to get you a little closer. Let's see how this handles. All right, here we go. Double barrel 410, AR 500 target. Woo! I love the look of a, a peppered target. <laughs> this little double barrel is sweet. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this. All right, let's move on to some nine millimeter. Okay, we're going to be throwing the 9mm down there with my Beretta PX4 Storm. We're going to use the handgun for that. And then I have another gun down here that I haven't shown y'all either. And we're going to try it out next. It's in 9mm. Alright, here we go. Oh, I love hearing that ding. Let's go down here and check out and see if that did any damage. Nope, not a dent. The only thing it's doing is chipping all that paint off. So far, this target's great. And look, my straps are even holding up too, guys. <laughs> I was worried about that, all that splatter. All right, let me show you that new gun I was talking about. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a future video on this gun to show you a more in-depth look at it. But... I got a Keltec Sub 2000. This gun is beautiful, and this will be the first time I've ever shot it right here with you guys. All right, let's throw some lead down range. First ever round loaded. I've been waiting for this gun, finally found one. All 
All right, I probably should turn the safety off there. There we go. That was it. This gun is badass, guys. I mean, look at this. Video coming soon on it. Okay, guys. Now we're going to move up to 12 gauge. I know it's not going to do anything just like the 410 didn't. I also don't have slugs for this. We're just going to be shooting birdshot, but I love shooting 12 gauge. I'm going to be shooting it out of my little modified Hatfield $99 shotgun. Here's the video, guys. All right, shotguns are always fun. Let's put one more down there. Look at it, make that target swing. Woo! All right, guys. I have one more gun for you. It's another one I haven't shown you, and I will make another video more detailed just about it. But let's go back to the table and pick it up, and I'll let you see it. It's going to be badass. Okay, this is a gun that I have wanted for so long, guys. I've got my very own AK. I've always been an AR guy, but I've always wanted an AK. I finally found one got all Magpul furniture got the famous banana clip let's throw some of these down range these are big boy rounds if it holds up to this it'll hold up to everything I've got at least yeah all right see if it's sighted in oh my god Woo, look at that shell fly my first shots oh my god this is whew. I have not had a gun that shoots rounds this big hopefully soon with you guys' help we can get a 50 BMG on this this channel look at that target swinging down there Woo. okay let's put one more round just because this is so much fun. Dang! Let's go down there and check it out, see if we did any damage with these rounds. Not much, guys. It definitely blew all the paint off. Uh, if you get close here, you can see it did pit it a few places, just barely. I don't know if you can see that on camera if it shows up. But other than that, there is nothing. This plate is is perfect. Take a little spray paint, shh, you never know anything was even shot. So guys, I want to let you know, I highly recommend this Target. If you go to your local Walmart and they have it, 32 bucks, you cannot beat that kind of deal. I mean, it, it held up to 7.62 by 39. And I'm sure it could have handled up to a 50 BMG. That probably would have pitted it pretty well, but it it, it held up. So if you're ever at Walmart, pick it up. I recommend it. Like always, guys, take it easy. Have a good day. Later.